Welcome to this episode of Leave Curious. Today's episode is called Tree Talks and that's where we speak about trees and on today's episode we're looking at the ash tree. The ash tree is one of the most common trees in the UK and it can grow up to 30 metres tall. So one of the ways you can identify the ash tree is by its pinnately compound leaf. And what that means is, is that it has five or six leaflets coming off one stem. The leaflets are opposite each other with a terminal leaflet at the end. Because we're in May, this ash tree has only just opened up its leaf, so its leaf structures and its leaf colour look a little bit different to how it would do during the year. The ash tree's most defining features are its black buds during the winter. You can't see them now because they burst out into the leaves. Another really great way to spot this tree are by its seeds, by its fruit. After, after the female flowers have been pollinated by the wind, they turn into these little casings, sometimes known as keys. I think they look like bunches of bananas. The bark of the ash tree isn't that distinctive, although it it is often covered in these lichens and moss, as you can see here, going up the stem. And the bark has this faint cracking to the surface. But the easiest way to spot the ash tree is by its compound leaf shape and the big black buds during the winter. One of the biggest threats to the ash tree is ash dieback, often known as cholera dieback. And what happens here is the leaves will die back, the canopy will die back, and it can often cause death in the tree. Certainly the tree doesn't look that vigorous, but I think it's because the leaves have only just opened up. But if we look at this area of the canopy here, it's definitely showing some signs of dieback. And I spotted a, this blackening and wilting is fairly typical of ash dieback. Lesions can also appear on the bark and twigs, and I assume that's what's happening high, higher up. I'm tempted to climb it, but I don't want to fall out of it because it looks like the wood's dead anyway and it would fall apart. So hundreds of years ago, when ash trees weren't affected by dieback, they could live up to 400 years old and even longer if they're coppiced. And that just means when they're cut back down to the ground because generations before us would have cut the ash tree down to the ground and used the wood for building materials and to fuel their homes. And also back in ye olden days, it's been said that druids would shape their wands out of the ash tree because, of the, because the grain was so straight. I kind of want to make a wand now, to be honest. Actually, yeah, taking a closer look at this tree, it doesn't look like it's in particularly good shape. See if you can get out in your local woods or in your garden or in your parks and go out and try and spot an ash tree and look out for symptoms of ash dieback. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. If you have something to say, leave a comment down below. And if you're into videos about wildlife, nature, trees and all of that good stuff, then subscribe. Thank you for watching.